News that's rocking the state and local community this morning. The CEO of the Memphis Chamber of Commerce, Phil Trenary, gunned down in downtown Memphis last night. The search for the suspect still ongoing this morning. Local 24 News reporter Jeanne Francine joining us live this morning. Jeanne, you're just feet away from the scene. And what are we learning about the investigation this morning, where it stands? Well, Kayla, Memphis police tell me that a jogger was running right here along the 500 block of South Front Street when a white pickup truck pulled up and a man shot the jogger. The man shot was Phil Trenary, who's head at the Memphis Chamber since 2014. Trenary, a longtime Memphian and businessman, was deeply dedicated to Memphis and the downtown area. We know the chamber was holding their Move It for Memphis four mile last night, which is a four mile race that ends at Laughlin Yard. The race started at 630 and Trenary was participating in that race. Now, shortly before eight o'clock, Memphis police received a call that a shooting happened here on South Front, which is a third of a mile away from the race finish line. It was soon discovered Trenary was the victim. He was transported to Regional One, where he was soon pronounced deceased. Now, Memphis police are still looking for the suspect this morning. Here's what we know. Police say the suspect is a black male with dreads and he was wearing a blue shirt and a white four door F-150. And Caitlin, this morning, police are still searching surveying the uh, area, excuse me. I've seen investigators getting out with flashlights, searching inside of apartments and even looking through the bushes. Of course, as we get new information in, you will be the first to know. Reporting live in downtown Memphis, Jeanne Francine, Good Day Memphis. Thank you, Jeanne. And of course, condolences are continuing to pour in for Phil Trenaria's family as well this morning. Those who knew him personally say he had some big plans for Memphis and helped shape it into what it is today. And we're going to talk now with Memphis Chief Administra Administrative excuse me, Officer Jack Sammons. Thanks for joining us this morning, Jack. Uh, well, thank you. Uh, it's a sad day. It's a, it's a tragic day for our city and our state. And uh, I've lost a good friend and and this community has lost uh, uh, a, a tremendous leader, and I'm just shocked by the, the whole scenario. It really is shocking details here to happen right in downtown Memphis where he worked, where he spent so much of his time, known as the heart and soul of the business community there. Tell us a little bit more about your relationship with him and, and his impact on Memphis. You know, I was, um, for some years, I was chairman of the airport authority here in Memphis, and Phil was a uh, a veteran of the aviation industry and, and uh, had been the CEO of Pinnacle Airlines. He knew everyone in the, in the business, uh, was, was critically helpful to me to introduce me to all the executives of the various airlines. And, and he, was, uh, he played a role in the securing Southwest Airlines service to Memphis and, and many others. Um, he, was, uh, he was truly an expert in that field. But he loved this community, and he was just one of the uh, powers of, of contagious enthusiasm in our town that, that makes Memphis a great place. And he, he would, I know if he could talk to me this morning, he would tell me, uh, you know, Memphis has got to move forward, and, and uh, the sur certainly this is a terrible tragedy, but let's let's keep moving forward we're making great progress there's a lot of momentum as mayor strickland says here in memphis and we've got to continue that and and uh, and really do it in his honor and jack how do we do that this morning i was just going to ask you that and like you said this is still shocking information still digesting this tragedy but how does memphis move forward uh, continuing his legacy downtown he worked so hard to create jobs for people um, who've been impoverished he wanted to build the city up on that obviously uh, this is a city that's suffered the brunt of a lot of crime and as its reputation has been impacted by that as well well there's no question in the in the short term we all need to um you know to grieve and, and to come together um and find closure in this and and um uh, set our sights on on a, on a larger mission as i know phil would insist you know keep up the work and and uh, memphis i've often said is a like a 12 round boxer we get knocked down and we get back up and we've been knocked down hard today but um i'm confident that that memphis will uh will rebound and and the chamber will continue its its leadership and its work to make memphis a better place for all of us and um i i, I just i'm i'm literally speechless this morning but I've lost a good friend as well as an important member of our community, but um, 
uh, I'm confident that, that Memphis will continue to grow and, and attract the, the kind of industry that uh, Phil was spent, you know, his, the last few years of his life, uh, day and night trying to attract. And that's what we've got to do. We've got to expand the economic pie. And the only way to do that is through economic development. Well, Jackson, powerful <laughs> words about your friend this morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Our condolences to you as well as to Trinari's family this morning. Just heartbreaking news. And a little bit more about Trinari's business background. Again, he served as the chamber president since 2014. Before that, he was president of Pinnacle Airlines, as you heard Jack just say, for 13 years. While with the company, he grew it from $75 million, that business, to a billion-dollar one. And while serving as president, he always thought of ways to bring business to the Bluff City, even helping to organize the gubernatorial debate in Memphis this past April. Trinari leaves behind his wife and three kids. He was also a grandfather. We'll stay on top of this story on air and online at localmemphis.com. Of course, it's developing this morning. The suspect's still on the loose.